Hey guys, what's up? It's Courtney and today we're talking Tinder. Now after using Tinder about a month, I have already given up on it because there's just, it's just not for me. But when it comes to Tinder, I have noticed a lot of patterns and stereotypes. So today I'm sharing with you the 15 types of people you will meet on Tinder. If you find this video relatable, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my new videos. I post Tuesdays and Saturdays. I also wanted to throw out there once I hit 300,000 subscribers, I'll be doing another huge giveaway and literally all you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is subscribe. So please make sure to subscribe. Now let's get into these tender stereotypes. Number one, the catfish. This person looks different in just about every picture they have on Tinder. Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my. Number two, we're calling the ghost dater, and this is because they have no profile picture. They're either stalking on people or they're just very insecure about the way they look. Oh wait. Number three is the tool. This can be described in a lot of different ways on Tinder, but the way I'm gonna describe it is the person who only shows their muscles in their profile picture and they just don't even include their face. Tool bag. Number four, the partier. This person might be fun to hang out with, but in every single picture, they are just having a good time drinking it up, and their profile says just here for a good time. Number five, we're calling the hot friend. This is the guy that's surrounded by a bunch of good looking people, and then you realize as you go through their picture, those are just their friends. Number six, the animal lover. They really want you to know that they have a warm heart, so they're posting pictures with every single animal possible. Number seven is the baby daddy. This is the one that has pictures with a lot of kids that look awfully like their kid, but they really make sure they throw out there, hey, this isn't my kid. It's my niece. It's my cousin. I'm 99% sure it's not mine. Number eight is your high school fling. We all see those people that we recognize or maybe even had a crush on in high school. And then you swipe right because you know them, but you also want to see if they swipe right for you. Number nine is Mr. Rico Suave. This is the guy who is so into himself, has all these professional modeling pictures, and wants to throw out there how good he looks. Number 10 is the high school dropout. This is the person that looks amazing, but literally has nothing going for them, and they're getting up there in age. Number 11 is Mr. Serious. This is the person who looks so serious in every picture, yeah, you're totally fun to hang out with. Number 12 is hard to get. This person is probably the most attractive person you swiped right with on Tinder, and they don't message you first. Number 13, we're gonna call this person the intensifier. This is the person who messages you that they were gonna super like you, but then they didn't wanna come off too strong. I don't know how that really makes sense. Number 14 is the English major. This person's bio on Tinder is like a novel. And not just any novel, like a Harry Potter novel. I am a mechanical engineer. At one time, I'd be like long walks on the beach. And number 15, we have the perfect match. We're on Tinder, aren't we? All right, so those are the 15 types of people you will meet on Tinder. I hope some of these are something you could relate to. And of course, I'm a girl on Tinder, so I spoke of this more as like guys, but I think it could kind of go both ways for girls and guys. Either way though, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you missed any of my last videos, you could check them out on both sides of me or click the eye up in the corner if you would like to access them on your iPad or mobile device. And don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world. Give this a thumbs up if you could relate to it. And I will see you guys next time for a brand new video. Bye.